Good morning, rock stars. How are you today? Oops, I'm scoot over a little bit. I wanna don't want to blind you guys. So, good morning. How are you today? Today is, you know what? I don't know what today is. March. Um, is it six already? I do know that today is International Women's Day. So. Wish your fellow uh, women and fellow sisters and Avon sisters and just women of the world a happy uh, International Women's Day. Hi, Ann. I see you're on. Good, good. Good morning. Um, we're going to talk about a few things today. Yes, we will talk about the new policies and how they affect you and how they don't affect you. A lot of them have already been in place for a long time. Um, we will talk about our fabulous Seaside collection, which I'm sporting right here. Um, and then, of course, if anybody has any other questions, make sure you type them into the comment box. Um, and then we can discuss that, too. So, um, it's 11 o'clock. Let's get started. Good morning. Good morning. I see more people are popping on. Um, so, what um, I would like to do first, before we jump into everything, is... We have some promotions on the team. So I would like to give a big shout out to new bronze ambassador, Christiana Easton. Woo! She just gave herself a raise. She got a $500 bonus for adding at least three people um, on their team. And her team selling um, at least... Um, at least $1,000 total. So congratulations, um, Christiana. I feel we'll be celebrating your next promotion very, very soon. So just keep working your business, keep doing what you're doing, and uh, you'll keep getting rewarded. So she should have um, some scratch-off tickets um, coming to her soon. So remember, when you get uh, scratch-off tickets, you cannot scratch alone. So even if you don't want to be on camera, just shoot the camera towards your tickets and scratch off on your personal page. That gives you, um, brings excitement and awareness to your business. Okay, so definitely want to celebrate Christiana. Uh, let me turn this off. I don't want any phone calls or anything, guys. Sorry. Okay, so um, then we also had someone brand new to leadership, Michael Easton, um, shared the business with Eileen. So brand new, so congratulations. And also Anna Marie Medina um, had a recruit um, who is brand new to leadership too. So welcome, welcome you guys. You guys are doing a fantastic job. I, um, you guys are very smart to take advantage of all of the incentives on the table for you right now, because guess what? All those people that are recruiting right now, you get a <gasps> ticket. Yes, a blab ticket, scratch off. So who knows what you can win with a scratch off ticket? I know you guys have seen some of those videos going around. So comment below if you know what some of the prizes are. Um... I saw someone win an iPhone X, iPhone 10. I uh, saw a few of those the other day. Um, I've seen lipstick for a year. Come on, guys. Help me out. I know you know some of these fabulous prizes Avon's given us. Um, there's $1,000, a Spira for a year. Um, oh, a one-on-one -on -one social media consultation with Scott Kramer. Um, that would be awesome and would just be forever give back to your business. Yes, Janine, $50 and $25 town and country gift cards. That's the place where we shop and we can get all our logo branded items like tablecloths and hats and t-shirts and business cards and signs and stuff like that. So that's a great business tool. Um, oh, those, um, what are those? Things? Rumbas that like clean your house, like roll around and clean your house. And then those... Amazon Echoes or Echo Dots or something like that. I don't even know what they are. But there's a lot of really cool prizes out there. So share with your friends. Uh, help them enroll and get their own business. Uh, find out why, how Avon can enhance their life, okay? So keep up doing the great work, you guys. 
And while we're talking about blab, hashtag blab about Avon, who's hashtagging? Anybody? Woo! Who went to their blab workshop already? I did. I know Janine, you went. Hi, Gary, I know you went. So make sure you go to these blab workshops. The list is on your Avon.com so you can find a workshop near you. They are all over the U.S., okay? So they are free. Some of them are during the day. Some of them are during the night. So you have to check your local area. Um, at ours, there was a lady who drove, I want to say, five or six hours to get to the workshop. This is definitely something you don't want to miss. So find one within driving distance and attend that. There's training from other representatives. There's motivational. You hear people's stories. So you get motivation for your business. You get sales tips. You get team building ideas. You get to see the new product from Campaign 9, all the Mother's Day stuff. Um, and then, of course, there's a lot of door prizes. So definitely want to go. You definitely want to bring a friend, which um, I wish more people knew that you can bring a friend. But yes, bring someone that either is a helper in your Avon business or someone interested in learning more about Avon or wanting to earn with Avon. Um, um, bring them to these workshops. So, um, and then maybe they'll hear everything and join your team. And then everybody will be happy because you'll get scratch offs. They'll get 40%. Um, they'll earn some extra money. So, Definitely, definitely want to share these workshops with everyone. Invite everybody that you know. Um, so, we talked about Blab. And when you're posting from workshops or posting about Avon, use this hashtag. I don't know if you can see it. Hashtag Blab about Avon. That's our new thing going on. Okay, yes. And said there's a tote box for the car. Yeah, it's like an organize. It's really cool. It's like an organizing tote. And I think it's got like two, three squares, something like that, that you can put in your trunk to help you organize all your Avon um, samples or products or your groceries or anything like that. So yes, that's a great price too. So let's jump right into it. Um, what I had to do is you guys, they, these there, yes, there was new policies and procedures that were effective as of March 5th, okay? Um, some of these policies and procedures have been in effect for a long time. Avon just did not force enforce them. Um, some of them will have, a lot of them will have no bearing on your business or how you do things differently. Um, I think it's just the fact that we know what they are and we understand them because we want to follow our independent sales representative contract. So I am asking you, and um, as a business owner, um, because we all are responsible for our own business, to go to youravon.com, click on the policies and procedures, and then click, there's a link at the bottom that says, your, uh, read these on youravon.com. Click there, and then it will open up the 30 pages of policies and procedures for you there, okay? Cause we're not going to go over the 30 pages today. We are going to go over quite a bit, but... You definitely want to read everything so you're not breaking any rules or regulations unknowingly and um, or breaking them, period. And um, just so you know how to run your business. OK, so first and foremost, we're all independent sales representatives. Right. So we are responsible for our own business, responsible for our marketing, responsible for return, all that stuff that comes with it. Um, taxes, all that kind of stuff. Um you, everyone should have a mentor by now, um, it, unless you were, everyone on this team has a mentor, okay? So the mentor is either the person who signed you up, helped you get signed up, or the person that Avon assigned you to when you got signed up, okay? And that is your first contact um, and primary contact for any Avon business-related items. Of course, yes, there is CIC, Customer Insight Center, they are available for you, too, to help you with your um, things like your account and returns and stuff like that. So you have lots of support still, okay? Um, we are a part of the DSA, which is the Direct Selling Association. So in being a part of that, we agree to follow a certain code and ethics 
um, in running our business. So you can go to dsa.org and read up on all of that. But basically, guys, it's just moral, um, moral things, ethical things, you know, um, f filling all your orders, uh, honoring the policies, um, you know, being professional, you know, kind of like that kind of thing. But you can read all of the policies there. And then let's jump into it. Let's see. Let me get to the spot I want to be at, guys. It's a lot on this thing. So while I'm getting to my page, let's talk about award sales, because I know we have a lot of new representatives and everybody knows what award sales are, right? Um, award sales are, is the retail value that you're selling, not what you're paying. So award sales is the dollar amount that helps you get to President's Club. So that's what they track to get you to President's Club. That's what's looked at to get you your earning, um, your earning percentage. It's based on award sales. So when you are checking out of your order and you're shooting for a certain goal, make sure you're looking at the award sales because that's what's going to affect it. If your award sales goal is $150 uh, in order for you to get your 40% and you place $148, you're now earning 20% just because of $2 difference. So you definitely want to Check that, uh, check that out when you're checking out your cart because that makes a big difference of how much money you're going to put in your pocket. Okay. All right. So let's see. I need to make this a little bit bigger. Um, okay. So we covered that. All right. So Online orders. There's a little confusion about online orders now, and I totally understand because right now there is a delay. So if a customer um, goes onto your account, let's say on Wednesday, and places an online order, that online order, you will not see credit for it or award sales on your account until that online order is until two business days after that online order ship. So you may not receive uh, award sales until Friday, Friday or Monday even, because as of the schedule that we have right now, that's how it works. But the good news is when we switch to flexible ordering, our websites will be aligned with our calendar. So as long as it's processed within that campaign and bills, it will go directly to your um, or it'll it'll still bill out and it'll go to that campaign. Now, when you submit your order on your Avon.com and, um, you know, as a representative, as soon as that order is built, those award sales will hit your um, account. OK, so that's good to know with all these wonderful incentives going on. We've got the pinning incentive. We're wrapping up the cruise like a boss, which I will post some earners of that. Um, some people achieve different levels. Um, I. We've got the blab tickets going on. So that's really important when your new rep wants to meet that $150 goal um, in order to earn the tickets. And don't forget about all the cash bonuses that you get along the way. New reps get $50 uh, referral bonus for uh, referring a new representative in their first seven campaigns. And then everybody else gets a $20 bonus when you refer someone and they place the first $150 order. So lots going on right now, lots uh, that we can earn from. All right, I'm trying to get past all this legal stuff. Let's see. Okay, so here is where um, I think you guys, I think that we need to be looking at as far as these new policies and procedures. Um, yes, you are responsible for sales tax. Guys, you got to collect sales tax from your customers because guess what? Avon's collecting it from you. When you place your order, the sales tax is already on there and you're being charged up front for that. So make sure you are charging an order fee, which it was 75 cents, but now you can make it whatever you want. My current order fee is a dollar. And when I deliver to another state, it's two dollars because sometimes I deliver to Wisconsin. Um, so make sure you're charging your order fee and make sure you're charging your sales tax. And that is based on where you live. So it's your county sales tax. And you can easily Google that and figure out what it is. Because you guys, you don't want to be losing money. You don't want to be giving away your products. You don't want to be um, giving away all your profit either. 
So make sure you're charging an order fee and sales tax. Okay. Now, one big thing that stood out that everybody was like, oh my gosh, when the new policies came out was Avon, of course, thinks that representatives will be more successful when they focus on one direct selling business. Avon is not telling us that we cannot be a part of another direct selling business or have a business of our own. It's just saying they find that representatives are more successful when they have one, which would be just Avon. If you decide to have another business um, or another direct sales business, you must keep them separate. Okay, so that's like you can't have business cards that say Avon on the front and then you flip it over and my insurance company is on the back or my, um, I don't know, paparazzi is on the back or premier jewelry or whatever. Um, they have to, you have to have two separate business cards. Okay. So basically you're welcome to promote your other business. Just don't promote it along with Avon. Like for Facebook, you can post, you can have an Avon page, but nothing else, no 31, no candles, none of that stuff can be on that page unless it's an Avon product. So you would need to create a separate page for your other business. Okay. Um, also a really big big change and I know some of you have been affected or seen the groups closing is that we are not allowed to solicit um, and earn a profit from other representatives so basically what that means is all these Avon discontinued groups all these Avon for sale groups all of that where they just sell product back and forth it's really not good for your business guys um, when you buy products from another representative you don't get award sales for it. You don't know where that product's been, what kind of condition it is, what kind of condition it's kept in, whether they have cats and people are allergic. You just don't know. It's it's beyond your control. So it's always best to order your eight products from Avon. I've always recommended that unless it's something like um, you're really trying to help a customer out and, oh, my God, they have a wedding this Saturday and they wanted to use this item and it's back ordered to camp two campaigns and you want to get it from another representative and maybe either um, they give you the representative cost rate or you give them the other item when it comes in. So those are ways that we can still operate and be within the policies. We just are not allowed to get a profit off of other representatives. So um, and not allowed to post them in Avon groups, um, like promote other businesses in Avon groups. So if you do have another business, by all means, keep promoting it. You just can't post it in Onward. You can't post it in, I don't know, Avon Cafe or Karen's Cafe or anything that's an Avon group. You just can't post it in there, okay? So hopefully everybody understands that. That was a little complicated. Um, people were getting a little confused. Also, um, you can still, yes, Facebook. You can still promote faith your business on Facebook. That's what Avon wants us to do. That's why Scott Kramer's here. That's why he's doing all the social media training with us. Um, utilize your Facebook fan page or your Facebook page to say, like, like this, for instance. Oh, my God, I just love this new Michelle outfit that I got from Avon. It fits so well. Look at the it's, it's within fashion, within style. It's part of our brand new Seaside collection. And if you would like to get one, you can check out my website, www.youravon.com slash Deanna Stevens. And if you have any questions, feel free to PM me. There you go. So you can do that on your Facebook page. You can post pictures and send them to your website. Say if you're local, feel free to PM me, things like that. What you cannot do is, all right, guys, I'm with, I'm Deanna with Avon and I'm here today and I got some jewelry. Here's this jewelry. It's $3, $3. If you want to get this jewelry, post below because it's $3. Okay, I next item is this blab stick. Oh my God, you know you want this blab stick. It is a dollar, only a dollar today. If you want this, post below. So these are things you're not allowed to do, okay, guys? What it does is it cheapens our brands. Um, Avon is working, new Avon is working very hard to get us out of that dollar store category and get us more to like Macy's. I mean, if, if you've noticed our jewelry, our clothing, 
everything is more upscale. It's more trendy. Um, the prices have even been raised a little bit. But that's so we as representatives can make more money. We don't have to do these dirt cheap sales. Everything is already on sale. Okay. So there's really no need for you to discount your Avon products. Um, if you want to do like a gift with purchase or um, an additional bundle or any offer like that, that's different, guys. Feel free to do that. Um, so Avon is just really protecting our brand and wanting to make sure everything is done professionally um, and I would say uniformly, kind of, as far as products go. So everybody is selling the products for the same price, okay? None of these garage sale um, dollar, dollar prices, you know, Amari for $3 or $5. We don't want to keep doing that because that makes it harder for you as a representative to go to your customer and sell Amari two for 24 when that initially is a sale price because that product regular value, retail value is a $23 product. But if everybody keeps selling it at $5, we'll never know that. Okay. So hopefully, um, that covers the whole uh, Facebook issue um, as far as selling. Yes, use your Avon Social. If you have not set up Avon Social, oh my God. Who's got Avon Social set up? Who's used Avon Social? I have. It's so easy. All, it's like everything is in two clicks and it's professionally done. There's 15,000 pieces of content. Everything from just Avon content to... Um, lifestyle like jokes and GIF battles and motivational Monday posts and things like that. So all of this by using Avon Social will help get your face, your page, uh, more social media attention and get you branded as an Avon representative. So please use Avon Social. If you have questions about it, reach out to myself or your immediate upline um, or your mentor, which is the same person. And let them uh, help you or myself help you out with it because it is so easy. Um, I did do, when it first started, I did a setup, a Facebook Live setup. So that should still be in the group here. Um, so watch that because I'm telling you, it is so easy. It's ridiculous. All right. So um, let's go to pages of six. Okay. The next things, uh, we could, that all the stuff we just covered is kind of like a conflict of interest. Um, okay, so you may not earn a profit from other representatives, but you can recoup costs. So like, for example, which I'm contemplating doing and I think we should do is if we decide to do a team shirt for RepFest, um, we can, uh, and the shirt costs $12 or $10, Everybody will pay $10, not like $20 for the shirt, okay? So if you're doing something for your team or other representatives or um, you can recoup the cost but not up upcharge to uh, make a profit because remember our business here is the Avon products, not these extra tools and extra uh, promotions and things like that, okay? Um, we may recover a cost of a sales meeting. Uh, we we kind of do that now by people bringing um, demo items and somebody bringing snacks. But let's say if we decided to say everybody pays two dollars to come to the sale meeting, sales meetings that would cover, you know, snacks and demos and prizes and things like that. Um, I know a lot of people that do that at their meetings and that is perfectly within a policy. OK, so let's get to. This is a big one. The selling. Let's see. Uh, where are we at? All right. If you're a new representative and you do not have credit, this, I don't, I remember reading it somewhere in the policies, but make sure you're placing your orders on time. Make sure you're pay paying your bill on time. Because what happens is after seven campaigns, Avon will review your account and see if you qualify for a product limit. And a product limit is really nice because then you can place an order and pay for it, you know, in two days or any time before the next orders do. So it, it doesn't. So then your order won't go on hold immediately. OK. Um, so if you're new, you want to keep your account in line. And after seven LOA seven, um, Avon will review your account. OK, let's see. 
trying to find, get to the right page here. Sorry, guys, there's so much here. Okay, personal use. This I thought I found interesting, and I think this is where all those um, Avon discounted groups and things come in hand. So, yes, we want, of course, we want you to order something um, for yourself. Of course, I think you should use the products yourself because you know what? The more products you use, the more products you will sell. You'll have a personal testimony. Like when I walk out today, if I get a compliment on this Michelle shirt from our Seaside collection in campaign eight, yada, 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 then I can say, oh my God, this is part of our new Seaside collection from Avon. And of course, they'll say, I didn't know Avon sold clothing. And then I can go on and continue and say, yeah, we have a lot of great clothes. This shirt was only $19.99, you know, would you like me to get you one? It comes in different colors. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we'll have our books with us and then we can show them mm -hmm. what colors it comes in or even just give them a book and tell them to check it out and let us know if we can get them anything in there. So you definitely want to be, you want to brand yourself as an Avon representative. You want to look the part, uh, be nice and neat and wear Avon clothing, jewelry, at least something Avon. And of course, you can mix and match this with your regular clothing. Like this is an older piece, but it's Avon. Uh, but I mixed it with the Seaside Collection. And then I have on jeans. So, of course, you can mix and match it with your wardrobe. Okay. What Avon does not want us to do is say, oh, my God, this these earrings are only $3. I'm going to buy 200 of them and then sell them to my fellow representatives. No, that is against policy. Avon does not want us to do that. Yes, if you think these are a great deal and you want to buy like two or three or four, um, you know, one to wear and like two to sell, go for it. That is an awesome thing to do. That's exactly how you promote your business. But buying $100 and $200 of a product to sell to other representatives because they can't get it, not only is that not fair, but it's, it's against policy, okay? And it's frustrating when... We order something and it says sold out, but you see it on the discounted group and they've got 50 of them or they've got 200 of them. OK, so Avon's trying to even the playing field so all representatives can get all their products when they need at the prices that Avon is giving to us. And I think that's great for everybody's business. OK, um, definitely, definitely continue to promote your store. You've got your, your Avon.com, um, which uh, promotes you. Avon will continue to refer everybody out, uh, but you must go on and accept the referral agreement. Um, you must enroll in Avon's customer referral program. And then as long as you do these things, as long as you sell at least one campaign, so place at least one order to make yourself active, You've enrolled in the automated email programs. Yes, you have to be enrolled in automated email. And as long as you um, your account is not past due um, and you've sold at least seven campaigns. So Avon will refer you out to people who go on Avon.com and they look for a customer in their neighborhood or they just, I mean, a representative. Or if they call Avon and say, hey, I need a representative. Can you refer me one? Avon will refer you out. I mean, I got referrals in my first month with Avon uh, before. So this says you have to be at least seven campaigns in. So that's like, what, three months, maybe, give or take. Um, and then they will refer you out. Okay. Um, this is a big question a lot of people ask coming into Avon. Um, do I have to file my taxes? Does Avon report me? My earnings, that kind of stuff. So here's the thing. By January 31st, every year, Avon will issue a 1099 if you have met one or both of these qualifications. If you have purchased over $5,000 at representative cost, or if you've earned more than $600 through leadership, prizes, bonuses, trips, incentives, that kind of thing, then you will receive a 1099 and you can include that in your taxes and also do business tax write-offs, okay, and claim your uh, business income. So if you have other questions, there is, um, there are people that specialize in small business taxes. I know um, 
there's uh, several that I know. So if you're interested, um, let me know. I can refer them because guess what? I don't make a profit. They're not related to me. So I, and they would definitely be able to help you out. Okay. Um, but you want to find somebody that specializes in small business taxes. Hi guys. I see you just coming in. Christiana, you just came on. We just gave you kudos for being a, a new bronze ambassador. So rewatch the video. We talked about you earlier and all your money, you're, all the money you're making. So just saw her pop on guys. I wanted to give her a recognition. So um, what did we just cover? Okay. So find yourself a tax person, professional tax person who specializes in small business. Okay. And then they can help you out with all the write-offs and all that kind of stuff, because yes, you will get lots of write-offs. Okay. Uh, what page is this? Let's see what page do I want to be on page eight. And again, I, we're going over the policies and procedures. A lot of these are not new. Um, they've been around for a long time. Um, a lot, some of these are new and there are thir there's 30 pages. So please go on here and read them for yourself. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, I'm trying to get down to the part. Okay, we, you know what, guys? We're good. We covered all this stuff. We're all the way on page nine now. We've covered all that stuff. So prohibited sales methods. So these are things we are not allowed to do as Avon, independent Avon representatives. And again, this is because Avon um, is a branded name and it is recognized all around the world. And there is a standard of quality that Avon wants to set for our customers um, that are out there. So no matter where they buy Avon from, if they buy it from you today and then they move to New Zealand, well, not New Zealand, but they move to, um, I don't know, China or someplace, um, Syria, and they buy Avon there, it's still a standard of quality, okay? Um, and of course, the personal service that comes along with it. So we are only allowed to sell to consumers. So what does that mean? I can't... Um, so basically, I can't buy a thousand deodorants and go sell it to the local nursing home or the local whatever. Um, I don't know who would need a thousand deodorants, but a thousand lip balms or something like that. So we can't buy a mass quantity and sell it to a business. That is not allowed. Okay. Um, so see, a lot of these don't even affect you guys because you you run your businesses, you have your customers, you have your friends and family order online, people at work. So a lot of these new policies you really don't need to be concerned with or they're not going to affect how you run your businesses anyway. in any way. Um, we're not allowed to knowingly sell to a third party for resale. So basically I can't sell to... I can't sell products to a beauty salon and then that beauty salon sells products to customers. Now I can put up a display of products in a beauty salon and the customers can directly buy them. Or I can put up a survey box with a display and customers can fill out their information and contact me and take books and order for me directly. So that is not selling to a third party. Okay. So we want to still get creative, but you want to stay within the guidelines. Okay. Um, so yes, you can put up a display at the local gym. We talked about that with Aspira. Aspira. Um, you can put up a display of the metabolism boost system and a survey box. You know, contact me for free samples and put a survey box there and, and have people write their names and numbers and leave your Avon books. That's a perfect example of what is acceptable and what is not selling to a third party. Okay. But you can still promote your business. All right, we kind of covered the whole internet sale thing. Everybody knows we can't sell on Amazon or eBay because um, that's selling to, through it to, what is that? That's selling through them. I don't know why they don't like Amazon or eBay, but we are not allowed to do that. We cannot sell um, on these Facebook groups that all just got shut down, like the Avon discontinued and things like that. But again, remember, you can promote your products. So you can be like, oh my God, guys, guess what I just got? I just got these cute earrings from Avon and they are just $7.99 and they are a little bit bigger than I thought they would be, but they are so cute. 
Um, if you like these earrings and would like to get your own, check out my website, youravon.com slash Deanna Stevens, or click my shop link above. Um, so that we are allowed to do. Okay. So definitely promote online. Uh, let's see. God, there's so much guys on here. I just want to cover some of the, the big things that stood out to me. Advertising. Yes, we can advertise. The only like forbidden advertisement is we can't do a radio ad. We can't do national advertising. So no radio, no billboards, um, no TV ads, things like that, which I don't think we're doing anyways. Um, so you can do things like that. Yes, you can advertise on Facebook. You can advertise on LinkedIn, Instagram, all the social medias. Yes, you can advertise in the newspaper. And um, Avon even provides some samples um, in the marketing advertisement thing of things you can use or say. The only requirement when you're advertising is you must specify um, independent sales representative. So you can do ISR. You can do like Deanna Stevens, ISR and training leader. You can do um, Janine Sertino, independent sales representative you know, shop my website, yada, yada. So you must state on there that you are an independent sales representative, okay? Avon independent sales representative. And for some reason on here, it says don't use new Avon independent sales representative. Use Avon independent sales representative, okay? Um, now, from what I'm understanding, and I think Scott is still getting clarification on this for us, we are allowed to use Avon in our Facebook pages, um, we just must have, like, in our about section, independent sales representative. When people look at our pages, they just have to know that we're an independent sales representative, not an employee, not a business partner, not, um, I don't know what else they have, not a, a corporate employee, corporate staff, things like that, okay? Oh, uh, goodness, let's see. We may not buy Groupon, uh, create Groupon coupons. Uh, post coupons on Living Social um, or buy coupon codes or recruitment offers. We may not uh, do discounts on our kits. So you can't offer, you know, free kits or anything like that. That is all against policy. But like I said, guys, I think you guys are not doing these kind of things. So just keep running your business as usual. Um, you, what we can do is... We can have our own YouTube channel and do Avon videos there and talk about products or why they should be an Avon rep or the latest incentive you earned or how excited you are and things like that. Um, you can showcase products there. Oh, see advertisement. Um, I love this shirt too. It's very comfortable. It's, it's like a cotton mix thing blend and it's very comfortable and I just think it pops. And if you can tell, I've got the earrings to match. Uh, let me tell you what earrings these are, guys. They're in your campaign, What's New. Um, it's part of the Seaside Collection. And they are the triple ball earrings for $7.99. So you can buy them individually. Or I think they are part of a collection in here, too. So there they go. They're in your What's New. And see, don't they look great? They even look great with this shirt. So make sure you're ordering your Seaside Collection out of your campaign, Eight What's New. Okay, you guys know I get sidetracked easily when I try to read your comments. So let's go back to um, promoting. So you definitely can promote your business on YouTube. You can do Facebook Lives and talk about how excited you are uh, to be an Avon representative. And, you know, again, show your products and say, oh, my God, I got my um, triple what are these called, guys? Triple layer ball earrings on and my new Michelle shirt from our Seaside Collection. What do you think, guys? Is it cute? If you would like these too, check out my website, www.youravon.com slash Deanna Stevens, or click the shop link above. So remember, that's the kind of promoting, the kind of advertising we can do on Facebook. Yes, you can just post pictures. You don't have to go on uh, live. Um... But again, it's all about protecting our brand. It's all about um, a, having a quality, good quality of product. And so we all can earn more money. And so people are stopped trying to nickel and dime us and get products for $2 and $3 when they're really worth like $23. Okay. Um, 
this is an important thing. Um, we are independent sales representatives. We do have Facebook personal pages. We do have uh, some of us, even our admins of groups. You have your fan page. It is our responsibility to monitor these pages and make sure that no one is bashing Avon. Make sure that um, everything is positive on our page. Uh, there's no negative comments that will affect um, the morale of the representatives or our team. Um, and anything like that, when you see things like that, it is our responsibility and your responsibility to remove them right away. Don't leave them up. Um, because you know, somebody can come to your page and it could, you, it could be the first time they've ever seen Avon, which how likely is that? But you know, maybe they haven't seen Avon in like 20 years and they come to your page and then they see someone saying, Oh my God, I hate Avon. I can never get my products or, oh my God, it's so expensive and yada, yada, yada. So we don't want negative, negative comments on there. Yes, of course, people may have an issue and we can help resolve those issues uh, by, you know, commenting below, but definitely, definitely um, we want to keep it positive. Okay. Um, and that is our responsibility as an independent sales representative and business owner. So let's see. There's only a couple more things that I really want to touch on. Um, email. Okay, this is a big deal. People are really flipping about, out about this email issue. No, we cannot have Avon in our email address. Yes, there are some people that do. Those people have had email since the 1900s. <laughs> I'm just saying. But... They've had those emails since before Avon made this policy, and so therefore they're grandfathered in, okay? So an acceptable email would be um, Joanne's Beauty House at uh, gmail.com or uh, Christiana's, uh, Christiana's uh, let's see, we can't use the word Avon. So Christiana's Beauty for Everyone at Yahoo. So things like that. We cannot say Deanna's Avon at AOL.com. That is not acceptable. Okay. If you have been in Avon since before the old, this is, this policy was established a long time ago. So if you were in Avon 20, 30 years ago, when this was not a policy, your email's fine and you're grandfathered in. Okay. So don't worry about it. Um, Avon says, uh, as far as national media promotions, national promotions, um, you can do, and I thought this, I forgot about this. You can do a national media promotion, but it must be initi initiated by Avon. If someone contacts you and say, hey, I want to spotlight you as a woman in business or whatever mm -hmm. um, on, our, on our TV channel tonight, then you have to contact Avon and get approval to do that. Um, and then they would support you too in that way. But we cannot, like I said, do national advertisement with um, at all, but you can do um, media promotions with Avon's permission. So if WRXT13 or whatever is calling you and they want to spotlight you next month, Tell them you'd be honored, but you need to check with Avon and get an approval and then get back with them and then contact Avon right away. And then I'm sure, you know, explain to them what it is. And I'm sure as long as it's in positive, it's positive and within um, Avon's moral code, um, they would accept it. So as long as it's not like, I don't know, something's sexually done or whatever, because that's also in the policies we're not allowed to do, then I'm sure they would approve it. Okay, um, here's one. We must honor the do not email and do not call requests made by a representative, former representative, or um, customer or lead. So if someone tells you do not call them, add them to your do not call list. Um, don't call them back. They're obviously not interested. So we don't want to be stalkers. And again, I don't think you guys are doing this. I think you guys are running reputable businesses. So... That's just one of the, the things that are on here that we want to make sure we are abiding by. 
It could even be a representative on our own team, unfortunately, that if they say they do not want, if they opt out of emails, don't go to your regular email and email those people because they don't want emails from you. That's okay. You will live, they will live, and unfortunately, they may not find out all the information that's going on with Avon, but that's their choice, okay? Um, okay, so I think that's enough policies and procedures. I think I had a couple more things written down, but let me see what else I had written down. Okay, I did, but we can talk about more policies and procedures next time. I want to talk about now some fun stuff. And then we've been talking about it all along. Who has checked out this Seaside Collection? If you are not aware, oh my God, this is a great addition to your business. Um, you're, you have to wear clothing anyways. So you definitely want to get at least one item each campaign from this new collection to wear. Because this collection is on trend. If you go to Macy's, if you go to Target, if you go to Kohl's, you're going to see this beautiful seaside floral um, uh, theme throughout, uh, throughout the store. And of course, our prices, our prices cannot compare. I mean, look at that. I think I read somewhere that you can create over 80 outfits with these mix and match pieces. Look at these cardigans. Aren't they cute? I will say, um, ha, see Joanne, I ordered like $380 worth of stuff. But if you, I'm not telling you guys to do that. Joanne said she ordered like $500. You're going to be a walk-in Avon sign. Okay. And that's what we want to do. But if you cannot afford that, don't do it. Order one item each campaign to promote your business. Okay. There is, a um, promotion when you order four items, so clothing or jewelry items out of the collection, you will get these beautiful earrings for free. And these are, I will tell you, they look a lot better in person than they did in the book. But look at them. They're really cute. And you get them for free. They are the Pop of Red Statement Earrings. And with every four fashions, you get them for free. So if you order eight products, you get two pairs free. So on and so on. That's one to wear and one to sell. So let's see here. Um, okay. So yeah. So when you order any of this jewelry, um, what I, if you really want the collections, what I would recommend is ordering two clothing pieces and then ordering two sets of jewelry and then you get some free jewelry too and that can kind of keep your cost low too but here's the deal guys so i have this shirt on my goal is to sell five of these so i can buy clothes out of the next collection okay um figure out how much the shirt costs you how much it sells for how many customers you need to make a profit and to pay for one of these shirts and also buy another piece of clothing or whatever you want to invest your money in. That's how this is going to work. Um, you cannot buy the clothing and never wear them. Buy the clothing and don't promote them. It's great conversation starters. I mean, how many times have we been at the grocery store and we got a compliment on our earrings? Um, then you say, oh, thank you. They're from my company. Oh, what company is that? Oh, Avon. Oh, I didn't know Avon had earrings. There you go. Now you guys are having a conversation. Um, you can get to know her. She can get to know you. You can offer a brochure. Okay, guys, I'm telling you, the Seaside Collection is really hot. Um, I will show you. And I have not worn these yet, but I'm super excited. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? These are like the Coulette Gaucho pants. The material is really nice. It screams spring. So I can't wait till the weather is nice enough to wear these and uh, to sell at least five pairs of these too. Um, we've got some really gorgeous stuff. Those of you who see my Blab Like a Boss uh, workshop pictures, I had the peasant top on in there, which I think that peasant shirt is gorgeous and it's comfortable. I will tell you though, if you have... Like, I have pretty big arms. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I have pretty big arms. So if you have big arms, 
there is like a little button around the sleeve there that I had to unbutton and then I put the shirt on. So um, you will have to adjust that a little bit, but you couldn't even tell when I was wearing it. Nobody even knew until I told someone. So uh, there is some adjustment there. Also, I do believe, and I've heard this from other representatives, that the Capris, let me find them. The Capris come in like three different colors and they're very cute. But unfortunately, they do run a little small. So when you order them, I suggest ordering a size up because I'm going to have to exchange them for a bigger size. Um, now I can't find them, but you know the red, white, there's a red pair, there's a white pair. And this is all coming out of your Campaign 8. What's new? It will be in the Campaign 8. Oh, here they go. Campaign 8 brochure. So these capris, which are fabulous, the material is really nice. Your cost as a representative is $26. If you're a consultant, $24 if you're um, a President's Club member. But they do run a little small. So just keep that in mind. Um, and that's another great reason you want to order these, these fashions. Because you can try them for yourself. You know how your clothes fit you. Um, and you can say, oh my God, I think this runs small or, oh my God, this runs big or, oh, it was just perfect. And then you can pass that along to your customers when they ask you those questions about how does this fit and how is the quality? Um, you will know because you will have seen it. Okay. Here's the peasant shirt guys. Oh my God. I think it's just gorgeous. So I have that shirt and what I'm talking about is right here. There's a button that um buttons around on the sleeve so you can wear it without buttoning it you can wear it with but buttoning it so all right so we have talked about a lot if you guys are in president's club you would have gotten your your membership card our black card take this with you to rep fest there's going to be special vip seating special vip entrance um, for certain events, I heard we get into, um, there's a special VIP product demo two hours before the product demo opens if you bring your black card, okay? If you don't know what the black card is, if you don't know what PC is, it's when you sell $10,000 at least minimum in one calendar year. So from January campaign one to December campaign 26, which averages out to only $386 per campaign. So it's so doable. And remember, all award sales counts. So that's anything you buy for yourself, any business tools, any anything you sell online or in the brochure. It all adds up to that. So what is the benefits of President's Club? When you make President's Club, you get a black card, of course. But you also get guaranteed 40% on, on all your regular um, regular commission items. You get an extra 5% on your fixed earners. You get a special 800 number. You get President's Club points you can cash in for prizes. And you get a special tribute gala that you get to go to and celebrate everybody. So those uh, gala dates have been posted on youravon.com. I think I posted them here, the local ones in the group. But if you're in another state, go to your Avon.com, go to rewards and recognition. And then right on the left hand side, it'll say 2018 tributes, I think. Click on that and it'll show them for all over the U.S. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Thank you. You know, I, you guys, I'm not kidding you. When I go to buy anything, I go to Avon first and see it. I mean, I get my cotton balls from Avon. Well, they're not balls, they're pads because that's what we sell. But I don't understand. I mean, I want to invest in myself before I go invest in Walmart or Target or anything. I would rather spend my money with me and promote my business and support my business and help it grow than to go to um, Bath and Body and buy lotion from them when I can buy it for myself and get a super discount and it helps my business grow. So keep those things in mind when you get ready to shop. Does Avon have that? You know, I got my crock pot from Avon guys last year and it is an awesome, uh, what is it? Cuisine art, cuisine art. I don't know how to say it, but it's a cuisine art, digital crock pot. It came from Avon. It supported my business. It helped bump up my award sales. It helped me get to PC. So 
you definitely want to support your business. Um, then other people will support your business. People always tell me, do, do you, is everything you own Avon? And I'm like, pretty much all my clothing is Avon, Torrid, or Dress Barn. And out of those three, the only people who pay me to wear a clothing is Avon. So I'll take it, okay? So hopefully everybody has commented. I will jot you down. Let me jot down the names of everybody that's on here. So if you haven't said hi, make sure you say hi. So I know you're there so I can throw you in the drawing. Um, the last coffee talk. Oh, uh, let me see. Cinda was the door prize winner. I forgot to post it, but I have it. You will be getting a, a package coming your way. So um, I am jotting down names. So how about everybody say what you loved about this uh, Facebook Live or what you want to win or earn on your blab tickets or say something so I know that you're here. I'm jotting down names now, guys. We got a lot of people joining us today. That is awesome. I hope this was helpful. If you still have questions about anything, please reach out to myself or to your upline. Uh, that's what we are here. We are here to help you out. So, uh, ooh, we got a nice group going here. I appreciate everybody taking the time to come on. Um, if you had to leave or you came in late, you can watch the replay as soon as this is posted. Um, it'll be right in the videos. Oh, gosh. Try to make sure I get everybody down. We got a good group, you guys. Way to go. I give you a hand clap for that. All right. So I got everybody. Um... So I will post, I will, I do the um, prize generator and so I'll put everybody's name in and it'll electronically pick a winner. So I will post who that is today. And if you have not gotten on my calendar to do a business review, um, to strategize how you're going to earn all these awesome incentives um, or take your business to the next level, please see, please contact me or contact your upline. Um, if your upline is a brand new upline, we can get together, your upline, me, and, and yourself, and still do that, which is a great training process. So you guys have a great Thursday. Have a great weekend. Remember, it's International Women's Day, so do some posting on social media about that. Until um, next time, in, in two weeks, I will see you. Have a great day. And go out there and share and show and sell your Avon products. Bye, guys.